Unless you've been living under a rock, you know that artificial intelligence has arrived. Tools like ChatGPT are changing the way that we research things and create content. And then tools like Midjourney, Dolly, and Stable Diffusion are changing the way that we create art and different digital assets. In this video, I'm gonna go beyond those tools and show you some third-party tools that happen to be free that you can use to get more out of each of those tools or make them easier to work with. So let's get into my computer and I will go through each of them. I've linked to each one of them down below in the description. I can't guarantee that these are gonna stay free, just like ChatGPT will probably be charging here soon for just the regular user. These tools might not be free forever, so definitely go and check them out, get your fill uh, before they go away. So let's get into my computer and I'll show you each of them one by one. Let's start with tools for detecting AI generated content and plagiarism. Google has made it clear that they do not want us to be posting AI generated content as original. So we need to be very careful with what we post and when we hire people to write for us, if you're a blogger like me or have a website that has a blog, you wanna make sure that that content is original and not AI generated. What's happening is a lot of freelance writers are getting a little bit overzealous and they're creating a lot of content and a lot of it's AI generated and you're paying for it, not just with your money, but also with potential penalties from Google. We don't want that. So there are two tools. There's a web-based one and a Google Chrome extension. So let's get into those first. So let's start with a piece of content that I know is not plagiarized, something I wrote on Medium. So I'm gonna paste it into Content at Scale's Content AI Detector. I'm gonna run it and boom, 100% perfect human score. Now let's try to rewrite this and see what happens to the score. So I'm taking the same content, but now AI rewrote it. Let's see what happens. It is not human at all. Here's a quick tip to work around that. You can do write as, and then put a certain person and it's going to change the score. Here I'm gonna do Dale Carnegie and the score gets a lot better. Next we have a much simpler version. It is a Chrome extension called AI Content Detector by CopyLeaks. You just copy any text, click the button, you don't have to paste or anything, and it will tell you if it's human or not. In full disclosure, this is so important to me that I actually pay for a service called originality.ai. It's actually relatively affordable. For 20 bucks, you get 2,000 credits, which is gonna get you a ton of articles. Here, I pasted an article that someone had submitted to me. Plagiarism score is 100%. That's because it had already been published on my website, but 85% original, 15% AI, that's decent. So that's gonna work. Check that out, originality.ai. It's not free, but it's also pretty affordable. Next, we have a tool called Prompt Extend. It allows you to enter a prompt for an AI design, and it's gonna expand on it and give you a lot more uh, descriptors. So when you paste this into a tool like Midjourney, for example, it's gonna give us a very detailed output, and we can use that for examples going forward. We can take things out, change them as much as we want. Another way to get better prompts is to reverse search the things that other people have already done. So this tool is called Image to Prompt. We upload images and then it gives us the output that it thinks will generate that image. It's not gonna be identical, but it will be in the same style. So if you see a style that you like, download the image, upload it here, and then try that output, tweak it to fit your design. You're gonna get some cool stuff. In this example, I upload the prompt it gave me for that super cute robot, and it gave me this. Obviously, it's not identical, but it is in the same style. Last but not least, a free Chrome extension called YouTube Summary with ChatGPT. Once you install it, you'll see it over here on the sidebar. It's gonna show you the entire transcript of any video on YouTube. You can click this button and it will open up ChatGPT and it will give you a summary of the video. Unfortunately, long videos will need to be broken up into smaller bite-sized pieces. But once you do that, you can paste it and then enter something like summarize this with bullet points. And then let's see what we get. Pretty cool, but we can go even further. We can say, turn this into a blog post with headings. You see what we're doing here? We're able to turn our video content into text so you can get more bang for your buck. All right, everybody, that is gonna do it. Thank you so much for watching. You did make it all the way to the end, so you might want to consider subscribing. Definitely hit that like button if you enjoyed this video so I know to keep creating this type of content for you. If you wanna learn everything that I believe is important about affiliate marketing, go check out my book on Amazon, Evergreen Affiliate Marketing. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.